Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting killer question from Korean SAT math, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. f of x is six pi x minus one square, and g of x is three times f of x plus four times cosine of f of x. If x is between zero and two exclusively, how many values of x are there to have g of x reach the local minimum? So since we're talking about local min, right? So let's get derivative of g of x. So g prime of x is now then 3 times f prime of x. And then we have negative 4 times sine of f of x times f prime of x using chain rule. Okay, then looking like we have f prime of x and f prime of x on those two terms of g prime of x, right? So if you get your f prime of x, then it looks like we have 12 pi times x minus 1. And then let's rewrite this g prime of x, right, by pulling this f prime of x out. So for g prime of x, we can rewrite this as okay, f prime x. And then parenthesis 3 minus 4 times sine of f of x. Since we're talking about local minimum, right, we should set this as equal to zero. To first talk about local extrema. So g prime of x is equal to zero first when f prime of x is equal to zero. So let's say this is case number one. In the second case is if this parenthesis is equal to zero, this is case number two. For case number one, is f prime of x is equal to now zero. And then we already know about f prime of x, which was 12 pi times x minus one. So 12 pi times x minus one is equal to zero if your x is equal to one. So first, x is equal to one is the critical number. The critical point might be local min or local max. We will talk about it. And case number two. If 3 minus 4 times sine of f of x is equal to 0. In that case, this will happen if your sine of f of x is 3 over 4. And before we actually do anything, let's think about the graph of f of x, right? So your f of x is 6 pi times x minus 1 squared, some kind of parabola. And when x is between 0 and 2, so if you plug it in 0 to the x, right, then f of 0 is just equal to 6 pi. And if you plug it in 2 to the x, then f of 2 is also equal to 6 pi. So the graph of f of x should be looking just like this. So when x is equal to 0, okay, so it's 6 pi. And when x is equal to 1, then f of x is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 2, the y value is also 6 pi. So it should be looking just like this. And of course, those points are excluded. So this is the graph of the f of x. When x is between 0 and 2 exclusively. And since we're looking for local min of g of x, we should focus on g prime of x. That is f prime of x times 3 minus 4 times sine of f of x. The first case was done. x is equal to 1 is the critical number, right? So let's focus on sine of f of x as 3 over 4 by drawing a graph. So let's draw the graph. And then your horizontal axis is not the x, but f of x, right? And the graph of it is sine of f of x. And basically, sine of f of x has two pi period, right? So if you draw the graph of it, and it should be looking like this. So this is now two pi. And this is the pi. And then now we have the max and the min as positive one and negative one. But then again, the question is, how many of this period do we need in order to fully analyze the situation? So we can just check. So if you set your f of x, which is 6 pi 
times x minus 1 square, 2b equal to pi, right? So in this case, your x minus 1 square is 1 over 6. So we can say x is going to be the same as now square root of 1 over 6 plus 1. So square root of 1 over 6 plus 1 has to be around 1.4. So make sure x is between 0 and 2, right? So if you now then set this f of x to be equal to, say, like 5 pi, then x minus 1 square is equal to then 5 over 6. So x is going to be square root of 5 over 6 plus 1. So this has to be around 1.9, not yet 2, right? So eventually if you set your f of x to be equal to now 6 pi, then x is just going to be equal to 2. So that is why we need two more of this period. So we should have another. And then this point is going to be just a 6 pi. And then 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi. Then again, we're looking for sine of f of x is now 3 over 4. So make sure this horizontal axis is not the x but f of x, right? And then we're looking for sine of f of x is 3 over 4. So we can just put 3 over 4. Let's say this is now y is 3 over 4. So it looks like we have six intersections. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let me just call this f of x value at those intersections as, say, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, A6. Okay, then based on this, let's go back to the graph of this f of x. We have six intersections, and the f of x values at those six intersections are A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. That means we should have six of the horizontal lines to consider. So this has to be A1, this has to be like A2, and so on all the way up to say A6. Then at the same time, each one of those six A values, we have two corresponding X values, right? So it looks like we have 12 X values corresponding to those six A values. And at the same time, when X is equal to one, it is a local X gamma. So there is a total of 13 X values to analyze. So that says we have either seven local maximum and six local minimum, or seven local minimum and six local maximum. So either seven local max and six local min, or seven local min and six local max. So for example, at this point, A6, if this is local min, the local max, the local min, the local max, and so on. In that case, we have seven local min and six local max, right? If this A6 is local max, then local max, local min, local max, and so on. In that case, we will have seven local max and six local min. So it should suffice to talk about only this A6. Is this local min or local max? And since we're looking for local min of g of x, the sign change has to be from negative to positive, right? So from negative to positive, sign change is what we want. And then we're talking about a6 right at this point. Okay, so for example, at this intersection where f of x is now a6, right? So make sure the horizontal axis is f of x, not just the x. So at this point, where your f of x is now greater than a6, right? Which is now this area. If your f of x is greater than a6, which is this area in red, that is indicating now this area. And of course, your x has to be greater than 0, right? Which means if you put the x value at this point, that's just a k, right? So if your f of x is greater than a6, which means now this area, 
And let me just write the g prime of x again, right? So g prime of x was f prime of x. Now times 3 minus 4, times sine of f of x. We can rewrite this as f prime of x times factor 4 out, parenthesis 3 over 4, minus sine of f of x. And that says if your f of x is greater than this a of 6, which means when sine of f of x is less than 3 over 4, this entire parenthesis has to be a positive sign. And going back to this graph of this f of x, right? So when your f of x is greater than a6, which is in this blue area, in this case, your x is less than 1, right? That means your f prime of x has to be now having negative sign. That means your g prime of x should have negative sign. And that means when your x is less than this value of the k, but greater than 0, right? Your g of x should have negative sign. And then when x is greater than k around this, right, it should have positive sign back up so that it will reach its local min. The sign was now negative and positive, right? Okay, so that's why at a6, at this point, this was now local min. And then it also says this a4 and then a2 should have the local min, right? But then again, we have two corresponding x values at each one of those a values, right? So we should have now 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, 6. There is a total of 6 values from those 3 a values that has a local min. And at the same time, if you analyze this, so A6 was a local min, right? Local min, local max, local min, local max, and so on. That says when x is equal to 1, the g of x will reach its local min 2. So that's why there is a total of 7 local min, and then 6 local max. But then again, the question is only asking you about the number of x values that will make this g of x reach the local min. So the answer for this question is now 7. We have 7 points. So seven was the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting killer question from Korean SAT math. How amazing.